our project is being biomaker is uh, do it yourself your own lab and i am uh, jose viñas i'm a teacher biology teacher in spain uh, we did a, a low cost biotechnology lab and this is our story uh, with this being biomaker it's a erasmus plus project as veronica says uh, and the main objective is to promote the teaching of biotechnology in secondary and high school uh, so in this case we create our own laboratory tools so we have we are working as uh, engineers i'm going to show you which is a biomaker biomaker is a person who use the bio cell that doing yourself uh, to build his own laboratory instruments uh, to build his lab uh, uh, tools we follow a uh, design process we can follow every uh, it's, it's uh, another uh, design process but we uh, try to follow the in, in sta uh, design process that uh, at the beginning of the process we define uh, the, the need uh, in this case which kind of tool we want to to do uh, the, we look for information mostly on internet. We design after that a prototype and then to build a, a prototype with a 3D printing or a laser cut. And then we start to test and evaluate. Um, when we test and evaluate in our own schools and then we share the solutions with our partners. And uh, always we need to redesign the, 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 the instrument and we build again and we do this uh, this uh, circle in a couple of times to to do a, a good uh, instrument at the end and we are always improving our instruments uh, our instruments are free software and free hardware uh, of course and we try to do to use cheap materials uh, in our case we work with uh, people from the other schools are from uh, uh, north macedonia uh, lithuania and italy uh, we we built this uh, these things. First of all, we built a magnetic stirrer. Uh, the magnetic stirrer is uh, made by the, by uh, plastic. The, the plastic is PLA. Is uh, we made uh, uh, with a three D printing, and it's made by a fan, just a, a fan from a computer and a magnetic stirrer from uh, the neodymium magnetic stirrer. So we magnetic uh, magnet. So we we need uh, we have only a stirrer. These stirrers in a, in a lab is uh, about uh, we can bought about for uh, one hundred euros, and in this case uh, we spend more, not more than ten euros for that. Uh, if you recycle less than that, uh, the other one is uh, when we want to to create a magnetic stirrer with heater that uh, we need to change the material, not PLA. PLA because uh, we uh, the PLA is melting when the with the heat and we use metacrylate and in a laser cut metacrylate is uh, is the what we use and it's about 70 euros and uh, in, in, a, in a magnetic stirrer with the heater in a lab is about 300 or 500 euros depends on the on the on the magnetic stirrer the other one was a, a, a ependor tube uh, centrifuge uh, the centrifuge is uh, made by PLA, PLA, of course, in this case, was plastic uh, with a 3D printing. And we have into the into the, the instrument, we have an a engine that is uh, from a drone. It's, uh, it's the engine of a drone. And we have uh, 9,000 revolutions per minute. It's enough to separate uh, cells, in our case. Uh, so it's, uh, it's very, very, very cheap, our uh, centrifuge because it's about three, 30 euros and uh, in, in, the, in the, the the professional centrifuges are more than that I think it's 400 500 uh, euros uh, the next thing is a curious thing is a mushroom we build a mushroom to to uh, to work with the microorganism it's a place where it's free of uh, uh, microorganism because we have a flame in the middle of the of the mushroom uh, to to work uh, safely uh, the other thing that we use for that is the flow chamber the flow chamber is like a box but it's open uh, but by one side and at the top at the back of the of the of this box there are two fans two uh, big fans uh, from a computer as well and then the, the air pass through the through the filter as you can see you have a filter a white filter in this case and it's a filter from a kitchen and but there is a one micro micron 
uh, filter. So there is no bacteria in front of the of the filter because they are uh, passed from the back to the to the to to, to us. And uh, if you can see, then uh, you see a, a water bath. But maybe it seems like a fryer. Uh, well, this is a fryer, but it's a, an old fryer. But we transform the fryer in a water bath. The water bath is very useful in the in a in a lab because uh, you can uh, do some reactions and you can control the temperature of the of some reactions or or, or cultures. And then to control the the, the, the temperature of the cultures, uh, we have an incubator of that bacteria, and we we control the temperature. And we put uh, from 25 to 35 degrees for culture uh, bacteria and microalgae. And uh, we have uh, controlled the temperature all the time uh, with, a, with a sensor and with a fan and with a heater. And then the microscope adapter, all the students uh, stay uh, sometimes in class, sometimes not in class, but they have their own uh, mobile phone or a smartphone. So we adapt the microscope to a phone and they can take photos and share the photos that they do with the with the microscope uh, at the end uh, we have a, st a spectrophotometer uh, we prepare a, a photometer a box a black box uh, first of all with the lego uh, we, we build with lego pieces and now we we design a spectrophotometer with a for a for a 3d printing then uh, you can put the sample and see uh, and see some uh, some uh, samples uh, about if the, that there are uh, green, red, or, or or blue. In our case, for example, we measure the amount of uh, the amount of uh, microalgae, the green microalgae that we have in our solutions. So our projects, uh, uh, we want to create the the, the low cost uh, uh, low uh, biotechnology lab, but uh, we need to replicate. Uh, this uh, biotechnology labs uh, the, the tools from from the instruments from other from other laboratories and then we design of this this replicator and then we can replicate even uh, we can offer to the other people we have a, a, a open uh, uh, web page for the people who wants to, to to reply our our instruments uh, and of course we we exchange the good practices even we during the pandemics uh, we use uh, the 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 work networks the meetings the the online meetings to to improve our skills and to share with other people uh first of all we did a dissemination of the project in this case the dissemination of the in, for, for the teachers and uh, and we have uh, as you can see the orange uh, points are the places where the our our schools are and in the northwest of Spain, there are our school uh, in Spain. So uh, we have uh, the point of reference for other for other schools in our country and in our in our cities, of course. And uh, the people can uh, experimenting in biotechnology or chemistry with our instruments that they usually the, the students can usually uh, only have uh, available in the at the university because they are very expensive. Uh, to replicate our 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 project, to replicate our instruments, uh, we prepare different levels. We know different levels in in the schools. We have three different levels. The the, the low level is the level pre. Uh, this is the level where uh, the school they don't have a three D printer, they don't have a laser cut, and they don't know or they don't buy uh, technological material. So our project can prepare uh, assemble kits. And then send the kids to the school, and this the school assemble the the kids and uh, and have the the instruments. This was an example that we did with the Escola Secundaria Ignacio de Loyola in Mozambique. Uh, the other level, uh, there are another two levels of replicability: the the level pro and the level plus. The level pro is when the school has uh, access to the three D printer or a laser cut. But the teachers are not very confident with the with the technology. So we prepare workshops. In this case, the photo is a, a workshop from uh, from Spain, from Galicia. The administration, the Ministry of Education here in Galicia, by bought the the, the the material. We prepare the material. We cut the material in a laser cut, and then the teachers in the workshop assemble the 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 steel with heater, 
and at the end the teachers go to the school come back to the school with the uh, students with heater for their own schools uh, the level plus is when the center owns uh, or has access to the to the 3d printer a laser cut and the teachers are very confident with the with the technology so they download our guides from our web page and uh, do the things uh, do the instrument or if they want to ask something for us uh, we have a, 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 a email to follow the, the instructions or to know something about the instructions in the middle of the project we we work as an engineers to prepare the tools but uh, from the middle of the project we did uh, that the, that the students we transform the students into science scientifics uh, the scientifics in this case with chemistry they start to doing chemistry practices with the material that we have uh, for example we did a, a couple of uh, practices one of them is protein separation in a thin layer by electrophoresis because we we bought we we prepare an electrophoresis uh, chamber and then in this case is albumin uh, and we have uh, identifications of sugars for example with the photometer uh, the other practices that we did uh, one place for where the practices for the chemistry and now the microbiology practices and we culture microorganisms we culture three different microorganisms uh, depending of the the age of the students uh in the in the, the first uh, microorganism the more safety microorganism was kombucha kombucha is a symbiosis of a bacteria and a yeast and they prepare at the end they have a, a little a thin uh, layer uh, that we use as a as a tissue uh, and it's uh, to, to to do clothes or to do another another things uh, the next thing the next one was a microalgae marine microalgae that we use uh, two kind of uh, marine microalgae uh, one of them is uh, tetracelmi suethica and, and the other phaudactylum uh, uh, phaudactylum species uh, that there is uh, the brown one and then the escherichia coli that could be uh, uh, most difficult to, to, to culture but it's not very very it's not uh, uh they don't need a high level and there is no the worry about the, the safety of the students uh, it's a it's a very common um, bacteria so we have a dissemination of the teachers of the, our project but the students do the dissemination uh, by themselves uh, attending to science first in our case we attend uh, 11 science first sometimes online sometimes uh, in person and we stay from uh, prague to the maker fair rome or the feria internacional feria nacional científica in chile so we stay in different parts of spain and in different parts of europe even in south america uh, we present some of the some of our activities so once we finish our project we now think about which are the, the next steps that we can continue or we can offer to the people who want to reply our our project and the first thing that we thought from the beginning but uh, it's not we are not very confident at the beginning now we are most confident is the bio art we think that the bio art is one of the most uh, uh, creative uh, and artistic things for the little ones and to start in, into to, to to start with biology uh, and, and the bio tinkering that is a new uh, a, a new uh, strategy to uh, introduce to improve the creativity and the do-it-yourself uh, in biology uh, for the for the little ones uh, in in other in the other hand we have for the for the uh, students from uh, 14 15 years old uh, they can follow environmental monitoring pollution and biodiversity, biodiversity parameters of course and uh, we have uh, we propose citizen science in this case uh, because uh, in citizen science um, we use uh, in, in citizen science we share our our measures measurements but in in, in this case in citizen science uh, you we use uh, mostly the phone but we thought that if we prepare our own instruments and calibrate the instruments we can share our results about uh, I, I don't know pollution in a in a river in the in a sea uh, kind of uh, biodiversity levels of dna different kind of dna that we have in a in a region so 
uh, I would like to say you this is the 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 QR for for the for the web page for our web, web page and to say many thanks from our from our uh, kids and uh, teachers that they stay involved in the project uh, this was a it was a, a very happy day for them like in in all the projects you have surprises someday and some morning we we stay in uh, in the middle of the of the snow and it was very it was wonderful because one of the teacher one of the, the some of the students they didn't know anything about the the snow and they didn't see the snow in person so it was uh, in great for us thank you very much for everybody and thank you very much for scientists to choose this this project thank you jose that was a wonderful presentation and um, lots of great comments coming in on the chat and um, we have got a question for you and it was about the protocol that you use when you um, have you got any advice around that the protocol that you would use for building the equipment yeah, the, the protocol to follow the to 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 build the, the equipment is um, it's a protocol that sometimes the inventors or the designers or the even the architects or sometimes the the painters do the do the same. First of all, we need we have a need. In our case, we discover some students that they are scientists, uh, but some students that they are engineers. Uh, some students that they are scientists they want to ask why and to solve the problem why but uh, some engineers they want to solve problems real problems and they, it was wonderful to see the students that they are not very they, they, very good in the in the classes in the normal classes at the school then they are uh, engineers they are engineers for for free in the, they are it's, it's incredible to see them and I, for me was a was a good uh, a, a good uh, experience i think it's probably giving them the the scope to that when you just give them kind of a, a random kind of topic so like um like your fryer when you said to them you know can, we're going to create a fryer and for them to then think what process am i going to go through to go through a full cycle of inquiry to put their ideas down initially and then try it out and then reevaluate and see if there's anything that they need to change uh, it's, it's the harder point for for them to 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 reevaluate the the projects and to start again and to see well this is my project but uh, i know the this is not the best project uh, so if you start again you can do uh, you can improve your project but uh, it's quite hard for for 15 16 years old that they, they are the, the students it's, it's quite i think it's quite hard for us even but yes yes instantly they want the correct answer and they want the solution and and it's trying to get them to overcome that yeah. and yeah. to realize that you know by solving these little problems as we go along you will get to to that that ultimate goal so we saw uh, that in the science first i i recommend uh, strongly recommend to the to the teachers to go to science first because at that moment the students when they uh, talk about the, their own tools or their own instruments in the science fair. Uh, the people ask about the about the instrument, and then they recognize or they uh, review again. And well, for the next science fair, we need to review this one because it's not uh, working like uh, I prefer. So I, I continue with with my job in these uh, instruments. It's uh, it's lovely to them. We don't need as a teacher. I don't need in sometimes. Uh, well, you need to improve this one. Yeah. Yeah, it comes from the children themselves rather than from the educator having to push them. Yeah, to, sometimes to they are very proud different. of the project. And of the, the of course, project. of course. Um, but I think it's wonderful the way that you've created your own bio lab. And it's so low cost because especially in today's economic climate, um, the, res the financial resources are not there for schools. So it's a really fantastic um, project that you have there. So thank you so much for sharing it with us. Thank you. Um, you're welcome.